the 1996 NBA Finals was the championship series of the 1995-96 NBA season of the National Basketball Association. The Seattle Supersonics of the Western Conference took on the Chicago Bulls of the Eastern Conference, with the Bulls holding home court advantage. The team's 136 combined regular season wins shattered the previous record of 125 set in 1985. The series was played under a best-of-seven format. Chicago won the series four games to two. Michael Jordan was named Finals MVP. NBC Sports used Ahmad Rashad and Hannah Storm. Hal Douglas narrated the season-ending documentary on Stoke Pabbles for NBA Entertainment. This was the 50th NBA Finals played. Background In the playoffs, the Bulls lost only three games in four series defeating Gary Payton, Sean Kemp, head coach George Carl and their Seattle Supersonics in the NBA Finals to win the NBA Championship. The Bulls won the first three games of the best of seven series, but the Sonics rallied back to win the next two at home. Eventually, the more experienced Bulls proved to be too much as the Bulls captured their fourth title. For his performance in the series against Seattle, Michael Jordan was named the Finals MVP equals Chicago Bulls equals, Michael Jordan decided to return to basketball in 1995, after a short stint as a baseball player. Although he failed to lead the Bulls to the finals in that year, he returned to pre-retirement form the next year and led the Chicago Bulls to one of the most memorable seasons ever. Freshly motivated by the playoff defeat against the Orlando Magic, the Bulls trained aggressively in preparation for the 1995 Euro 96 season. By then most of the members of the first three-peat were gone either through retirement or free agency and trades. In the off-season, the Bulls lost B.J. Armstrong in the expansion draft, but Bulls general manager Jerry Krause pulled off a masterful deal by trading Will Purdue to the San Antonio Spurs for notorious rebounder Dennis Rodman, who had won the past four rebounding titles. Many doubted whether Rodman who as a member of the Bad Boys Detroit Pistons teams of the late 1980s played a key role in the Jordan Rules defense the Pistons implemented during their fierce rivalry with the Bulls, would fit in with his former rivals. However, those questions were put to rest once the season began. That year, strengthened by the addition of Dennis Rodman, the Bulls dominated the league. With a lineup of Ron Harper, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman and Luke Longley, and perhaps the league's best bench in Tony Kuko, Steve Kerr, Judd Weckler, Jason Caffey, Bill Wennington, Dickie Simpkins and guard Randy Brown, the Bulls posted one of the best single-season improvements in league history and the best single-season record. They moved from 47 a Euro 35 to 72 a Euro 10. Jordan won his eighth scoring title, and Rodman his fifth straight rebounding title, while Kerr led the league in three-point shooting. Michael Jordan won the league's regular season and All-Star Game MVP awards. Jerry Krause won the Executive of the Year award, Phil Jackson won the Coach of the Year award, and Tony Kukoc was the Sixth Man of the Year. Both Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan made the All-NBA First Team, and Jordan, Pippen, and Dennis Rodman all made the All-Defensive First Team, the only time three players from the same team had done so. The Chicago Bulls had no problems during the playoffs. After eliminating Miami by over 15 points per game in the first round, they would go for a Euro 1 against the Knicks in the semi-finals to get revenge and sweep the Magic in the Eastern Conference Finals. Equals Seattle Supersonics equals, the Seattle Supersonics, coached by George Carl and led by All-Stars Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, emerged as contenders in the Western Conference by 1992. The Sonics broke through in the 1993 NBA playoffs pushing the eventual Western Conference champion Phoenix Suns to a seventh game in the conference finals. Then in the 1993 Euro 94 season, the Sonics finished atop the league with 63 victories. However, in the greatest playoff upset in NBA history, the Sonics lost three games to two to the eighth-seeded Denver Nuggets, who finished 21 games behind Seattle in the West. Seattle would once again be upset in the first round of the 1995 playoffs against the Los Angeles Lakers. By this time, Seattle had a formidable all-star duo in Peyton and Kemp, 
plus role players in Dittle SCHREMPF, Nate McMillan, Sam Perkins and Hersey Hawkins. After two first-round defeats, Seattle would make a major comeback in the 1996 season, finishing with a 64 a 18 record to lead the Western Conference, and setting the record for highest single-season win total in Supersonics history. Seattle blew through Sacramento in the first round. Three games to one. They also had no problems with defending champion Houston Rockets, sweeping them. However, their playoff troubles re-emerged after dropping two games to the Utah Jazz to bring the series to 3 a Euro 3. However, Seattle took Game 7 and won what was one of the most exciting series of the 1996 playoffs. Seattle would finally play in its first NBA Finals since 1979. Equals Road to the Finals equals Equals Regular Season Series equals Both teams split the two meetings, each won by the home team. Starting lineups, Naismith Basketball Hall of Famer Euro. 1996 NBA Finals roster. Equals Depth Chart equals Series Summary, All Times Are in Eastern Daylight Time. Equals Game 1 equals Although Chicago was not playing well offensively, they were able to compensate with superb defense. Chicago was leading only by two at the end of the third quarter. However in the final quarter shots by Tony Kuko and two key steals by Ron Harper clinched the Bulls a win. Equals Game 2 equals Game 2 was started well for Seattle with a 27 a Euro 23 first quarter lead. However Seattle would once again lose the lead before half time. Despite Sean Kemp's 29 points and 13 rebounds, Chicago triumphed with a final score of 92 to 88. In the victory, Dennis Rodman tied an NBA Finals record with 11 offensive rebounds. Equals Game 3 equals The Sonics suffered a 22-point blowout on their return to Seattle, giving the Chicago Bulls a seemingly insurmountable 3-0 series lead. Equals Game 4 equals Seattle did not want to suffer the ignominy of a sweep. Going into this game, the Supersonics were looking to rebound from the deficit. They succeeded with a 107 a Euro 86 win over the Bulls. The series would now go to five games. The Sonics were helped by the return of team captain Nate McMillan whose presence entering the game brought the key arena crowd to its feet. Equals Game 5 equals. Seattle would once again deny the Bulls the championship, stretching the series to six games. Peyton had this to say, we feel great. We knew we could play with this team. It just took too long. We should have come with this a little earlier. Sean Kemp's performance in this game was considered by many to be his best in a Seattle uniform. Equals Game 6 equals. Chicago won the series four games to two on Father's Day. The victory was partly due to the stellar performance of the Bulls power forward Dennis Rodman, who repeated his Game 2 performance of 11 offensive rebounds, tying his own NBA Finals record. Aftermath, the 1996 NBA Finals would be the last finals appearance of the Seattle Supersonics. The Sonics would win the Pacific Division again in 1997 and 1998, but fell to the second round of the playoffs each time. The series was George Carl's only finals appearance in his coaching career to date. In 2008, the Sonics franchise moved to Oklahoma City and became the Thunder. They would make the finals four years later after the move. This was also the last time a Seattle-based team played for a major professional sports championship until Super Bowl XL in 2006, when the Seattle Seahawks lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers. This was until the Seattle Seahawks beat the Denver Broncos in Super Bowl XL VII and Super Bowl XL IX when the Seattle Seahawks lost to the New England Patriots. In terms of overall sports leagues, the city would later enjoy three championships when the WNBA Seattle Storm, a one-time Supersonic sister team, won both the 2004 and 2010 WNBA Finals. The Bulls came close to winning 70 games for the second straight year, instead settling for a 69-win campaign in 1997. They won their second straight title over the Utah Jazz in six games of the 1997 NBA Finals. 
in the offseason that preceded Scottie Pippen became the first person to win NBA championship and Olympic gold medal in the same year twice, playing for Team USA at the Atlanta Olympics. The Bulls would also defeat the Utah Jazz in six games in the 1998 NBA Finals. See also, 1996 NBA Playoffs. Notes and references. External links. Official website of the 1996 NBA Finals at the Wayback Machine, NBA.com's History of 1996 NBA Finals.